but we all want a life that is cool. I don't know, that's cool, that's fulfilling, that we like, that we look forward, like you get up and love to exist in it. That's what this book is supposed to help you do, uh, Designing Your Life by Bill Burnett and Dave Evans. So let's talk about this book. Let's in fact start with a quote about this book, and I'm just gonna read it right off my screen here. It says, a well-designed life is a life that is generative, it is constantly creative, productive, changing, evolving, and there is always a possibility of surprise. That is on page XVI, so in the prologue. Now, according to the authors here, there are five ideas, five mindsets we need to have if we're going to have a well-designed life. Number one is we need to be curious about life. Fairly straightforward. You need to just be curious, reading, doing things, discovering things, continuing your education. Second, we need to have a bias towards action. So we're not just going to sit back and lament like, oh, what was me? Nothing happens good for me. You're going to actually go out and do something. Third, we need to reframe the problem we're working on. Uh, this is how we get unstuck when we're not making forward progress. So we just keep like batting up against the wall. Uh, the obstacle is the way he says this to you, right? You keep hitting the obstacle. That's by Ryan Holiday. Keep hitting that obstacle and instead you go around, right? You just, you go around it. You find a new path. You find a new way to attack the problem. Uh, number four, we need to know that building a life worth living is a messy process. It's not always going to be steps forward. It's going to be like steps forward and steps back and maybe steps back farther than you wanted and then more steps forward. All right. I've said this in other videos. I had a six figure WordPress business and then I just got too infatuated with other parts of my business and they died and my, my business dried up. I had like a middle five figure business and that was a big income shift and a big issue. What came out of that is way better budgeting, um, better marriage, like we're stronger for it. Uh, and like, again, back to a six figure business now that takes me less time that I do lots of other things. And I do like, this is part of my business now too. Good business, but, it, but there were steps back in the middle there. It was not easy. Fifth, we need to be willing to ask for help. Big thing, um, they talk about here is being collaborative. Um, how collaborative a good, well-designed life is a uh, good book that talks about that is innovators. Not it's talking about how um, innovation happens not by the lone genius as we often think, but it happens because there's teams that come together to really do cool stuff. Once you've got those five mindsets in hand, they have a whole ton of assignments. That's all I can say, assignments to help you design your life. One interesting one was what they call the work view statement. And that's not what you do specifically. Like I wouldn't, my work view statement is not, I do videos, it's, or I code stuff. I'll read mine to you, in fact. Let's just do it. Uh, I work for the discovery of problems. A hard coding issue or a new idea in a book both feel like an excellent discovery. I enjoy finding both and sharing what I learned so that others don't have to struggle. So it talks about this in terms of like, this is just like the bigger framework for what you do. And there's a lot of other exercises. That's one of the things I like about this book. There are lots of cool exercises in here. Um, I used to do some coaching and I would do like a four quadrant exercise where you pick the four areas of your life and you come up with ideas for them like, uh, you know, family, work, business, fitness, whatever, something like that. I know I just did business and work. But anyways, <laughs> you, you get the idea, right? And you say, here's my priorities and here's where I want to be in five years. And we do a five-year life essay. We'd write like an essay and like name your dog, stuff like that. And I think those are really helpful. And they have more exercises like that. That's like, that's one of the really good things about this book is all the exercises. Another one of their exercises is the three life um, idea. So the idea here is that there's not one life that that's like the best life. That's the only thing that's going to be perfect for you. And everything else is just going to be like, not, not as cool. They have the three life exercise. Life one is the thing you're doing right now. What if the thing you did right now is like the best it could be? How would that look like? Life number two uh, is if life one was suddenly gone, what would life two look like? What would you do if, so what would I do if I couldn't program, right? What would I do if I couldn't work on a computer at all anymore because of some issue? What would I do? Um, and life three is what if money wasn't an object? So what if I just got to wake up every day and do whatever I wanted? And honestly, I'd probably do videos, stuff like this. I'd probably read books, talk about them, write books. That's what I'd do as my third life. It's just another one of those exercises to help you find what you want in life and where you could go and, and design your life, design the life that you want. Now, ultimately, they have four steps in um, designing your life. One is gathering your options. Two is narrowing down. Three is choose. And then fourth is just let go and move on. They actually have like, a, they spend like probably three paragraphs about how you should agonize over it. And it's actually supposed to be a joke. Mm, kind of a lame spot, but still. They actually spend most of the book on gather uh, and a little bit on narrow. So 
narrowing down your options. Uh, there's an old jam study that I'll give you the short version. I don't remember the exact numbers, but it was like there was like six jams, and when you people when there were six jams to try custom jams, people bought way more jam. If there's 25, 50, I forget the number of jams to try, people bought less jam. So when you have too many choices, you just can't do anything. Um, so what they say is get down to like three to five, and then pick out of the three to five. If you're having trouble doing that, then uh, you can do what I would call a board of directors. They have another term. I don't remember what that one was, but like a board of directors. So people that you trust, that know you, this is where collaborative comes into play. Um, to just talk through your options and what you'd be good at, what they see in you and how how you can move forward. What do they think? So I've done this actually for a friend of mine. It felt weird because he's, you know, 20 years older than me. But we sat down over a number of coffees and like I was on, I, I, he said, hey, I, I, here's the jobs I'm looking at. What do you think? How do you think I could do this? Um, and out of all that, he came um, to a different, like to a different, totally different business. I don't know if it's all me, but like I certainly said, like his experience with a lot of people, I'm trying not to you know, reveal stuff. But his experience with people a lot, and, and it was not CEO level. And I was like, but dude, you're like perfect for a CEO. Like everything you've done, I just like talk about the tasks you did and the jobs you did. And he described them as like CEO, CEO, CEO. And so now he's not CEO, but he is managing lots of different people, lots of different interaction and, and making good money. Like I think it's the best money he's ever made. So that was cool. Being on his board of directors and just helping him work through that, talking with about stuff and saying like some things I'm like, I don't think this is a good idea was, was good, rewarding to me and helped him out say choose is just choose just pick one like it's never gonna be perfect um there's always gonna be problems so pick the next step take the step and then let go and move on right you can't what if yourself about everything else like what if i did this would it be two percent better you're never gonna know you're just never gonna know so move on final question should you read designing your life by i forgot the names bill burnett and dave evans yeah maybe i think there's a lot of good exercises in here I'm not sure that I bought into the whole design thinking philosophy all over. Um, I kind of only gave it like a two star. So for me, a three star is like, this is just an average book. It's decent. It's not bad. It's just, it's fine. It's, it's a good book. And I learned some stuff from it. A four is like, no, you know, I'm, I'm going to recommend this to people. And a five is like, I might buy you, but buy you the book and give it to you. So this is a, this is a two. It's, it's okay. Uh, I didn't think that there was anything like amazing about it. I didn't think there's anything terrible about it. I don't think I'm going to go back to it. It's kind of on the cusp of whether I take it back to my local. I think I got it at the used bookstore. Let me check. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I don't see their tag on it. So maybe I can't just take. Oh, I do. I, I bought it from them. So maybe I'll just take it back to them. And I won't keep it because while it was good, it wasn't like amazing. So I'm kind of eh. If you're really looking into designing your life, if you think design thinking specifically might help you, then this could be a good book. If not, then I don't know. And I honestly don't know. I think one of the best books that I've ever had is by Dan Miller. Uh, he does 48 Days to the Work You Love. I think that's the title of the book, 48 Days to the Work You Love. And he does one of the better books on that. Um, although he does talk a little bit about your God-given stuff. So if you're not into faith stuff, then maybe not. And then this would probably be a good book then, actually. Um, this would probably be a good book if you don't want to go into the faith stuff. But I think Dan Miller's 48 Days to the Work You Love is the better book, like hands down, no questions. You just got to, you know, when they're saying God, maybe you look at your calling. And he does a lot of resume stuff, Dan's does too. So this one doesn't do that. That's it. If you liked the video, you can give me a thumbs up. If you loved it, you can subscribe. Then hit the bell so YouTube lets you know what happens. And then you could also go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale. And there you can support the channel so that videos keep coming. Have an excellent day.